Thanks for visiting EIA.gov. We'd like to give you a brief tour of our new State Profile section, as we've worked hard to retrofit it so that it's more intuitive, dynamic, and useful. The biggest feature is this interactive mapping panel, which I'll be showing you in a bit. But if you want to see a broad, overarching view of energy, you want to look at our rankings down here. You can sort by any number of criteria. For example, we can see that Texas leads the nation in energy production, followed by Wyoming and West Virginia. If you're seeking a deeper data dive on cross-state energy issues, you might want to explore the reports and data series available through the state's front page. Now, there's a lot of content here, and you can access our data, time series, charts, and everything we do to produce our analyses here at EIA, but this is a pretty complicated area, so I'm going to move on. We think most of our users will benefit most from a complete portfolio and digital dashboard of their state of interest. So let's pick a state now. I'm going to choose Pennsylvania, since it has a diverse energy profile, and I went to school there. We've designed this page to be a ready-to-print two-page briefer for those looking for an easily digestible snapshot. As a starter, we plot every generation point in its correct position, with the icons indicating the type of plant. But there's a lot more to explore here. The right panel includes the state's energy ranking compared to the nation, and you can click in for more information. For example, coal, Pennsylvania is the fourth largest producer. We also highlight some quick facts here and provide an interactive chart browser illustrating some key energy sector metrics. So, for example, the consumption in Pennsylvania, production, electricity, and prices. But let me show you how to use the map because there's a lot of power here. Now, this map does require Flash Player 11, so if you're running an older version, you may need the free upgrade. Our maps are constructed with dozens of layers, not unlike how a traditional animated movie is produced. One view is constructed from a background, and various actors are added to it. An animator for this movie might select the background of a forest. In your case, you'll be selecting the base map, as indicated here, to toggle between satellite, street, and other views. And you can see as I choose the base map that the map of Pennsylvania behind is changing. I'll leave it at gray base for clarity. If you've used internet mapping tools like Google Maps, hopefully this is familiar territory for you. The dozens of map layers I mentioned earlier are cataloged here, and you're free to turn them on and off as many as you like. We have over 30 layers that you can toggle on or off, and note that some of them have multiple selections inside them, so if you only wanted to see biomass plants, you could turn off the rest. It's interesting to note that not only do we chart physical installations, such as mines, plants, and transmission lines, but resource areas too, like oil fields and shale plays. If you're looking for a quick snapshot of information, however, this can be a cumbersome way to navigate. So we've created some default views of similar assets you might find helpful. Just pull down here and select your topic of interest, and we'll turn on and off the appropriate layers for you. For example, here's solar. And there's wind. I can not only see where the wind farms are located, but the generating capacity at each location, and additional details. Going further, if you were interested in finding out if you could put a solar roof on your house, for say, you could enter in your address, and the map will zoom there. Now, to avoid ousting any of my friends, I'm just going to enter in our address here at Department of Energy Headquarters. The map will zoom to this location, and we can see that DC has fair, but not great, solar generating capacity. But in fact, we actually have some solar panels on our roof here at EIA headquarters. You can download or print these maps in a variety of formats and use the controls on the left to zoom, pan, and otherwise manipulate the map. We hope you enjoy using the tool, and we really want to hear from you soon. Thanks very much for watching and for using the new state's portal.